We are back again doing the setup of the number one D5 watch on Smartwatch Ticks, where we're going to now take you through the steps you want to go through as a brand new unboxed user of this watch. The first thing is don't turn it on. Uh, I know, not, not happy about that. What you want to do is get your uh, charging cradle, put it on, plug it into a USB port and charge it up for at least three hours before you even turn it on. I know you want to, there's probably some charge in it, but it's best if you do that and work off of a fully charged battery. Why? Well, this thing does not have a uh, replaceable or removable battery inside, and it's relatively small considering how thin the watch is. So you want to get as much juice out of it as you possibly can. Also, when you are ready to go forward and you have a fully charged watch, you might want to do this with the whole thing just plugged in. It'll make life easier. Um, don't put it on your wrist. Just hold it in your hand as you go through all of this stuff. Keep the charger on it. Keep it plugged in. And um, do all of the setup running off of the charge if you'd like. You can do it off a battery. That's what I'm doing here. I have the charger on it, but I really don't need it, so I'll take it off. Um, because I got a full charge, and but I've had it fully charged and cycled a lot in the last week or two, so that's okay. I'm further ahead than you are. Let's begin, shall we? The first thing we want to do is uh, get this darn screen time out faster or longer than it is right now. You notice it's constantly turning off on me right away, which is really good for battery savings, but it's not very good for actually using the thing. So I'm going to go in here. Oh, I'm going to go back up to settings. Click into the settings. You'll be in here a lot. We're going to skip clock settings, skip sound, and go down to the display. In the display, you see it sleeps after 15 seconds. I want you to change that to 30 minutes. All right? Simple, yeah? Swipe down to go back. Now... For the rest of you that are more intermediate, and if you want to live on the, or the dangerous side a little bit, you can actually scroll all the way down to About Device. We're in the settings, and you go to About Device. Click here. You should see Developer Options. If you don't see Developer Options, then do this. Scroll all the way down to where you see the build number and tap it a bunch of times. See, it says I'm four steps away from becoming a developer. Three, two, one. Ta-da! I've now been promoted to a developer. Da-da-da-da! Eh, that doesn't mean a lot because I don't know what I'm doing. It actually means I could screw things up pretty bad if I really don't do things right. So what I'm about to show you, there's only two things in here that you're ever going to want to play with. Uh, don't touch anything else, okay? Not my responsibility if you do. Let's see, we go into developer options. Today, what I want to talk to you about, oh, did I go to the right spot? Developer options. All right, there we are. Make sure that it's turned on if it's not, just by tapping on the switch up here. Come all the way down to stay awake. Screen will never sleep while charging. See, if you check that one and you have the, the charging cradle on it, you could use this watch at night on the bedstand and have the light on all the time, especially after we install the uh, brightness uh, control that lets you go into negative brightness with a slider switch on the top or on the side. Oh, my goodness. That's coming up in this video series, so keep in, keep watching. The stay awake is something really important. Uh, if you're going to be using the watch in a constant on status, the other one that is used carefully is called USB debugging. Don't check that right now, but keep it in the back of your mind. If you're an intermediate user, there are times and reasons that we'll get into when it's appropriate for having that checked. Do not check it now because it will mess you up if you want to try to connect your watch to your computer to transfer files back and forth. All right. Just be aware of it, though. Okay. I'm going to press the button to come back. I'm going to tap once to go down. I'm going to scroll to the bottom 
and hit reset apps and I'm going to clear all my apps. Get in the habit of doing that. That's a really fun and easy way to just get everything clean. All right. We have set it so that the uh, the watch is not going to shut off as often and easily as it was. And now we're going to go back into settings again. And we are going to do your clock settings. You have uh, your default clock, which is just the watch face. You have a wallpaper clock, which I really haven't been able to get to work, but uh, I don't quite understand this one. Anyway, um, you got that, apparently. And am I still on my default clock? I guess so. Play with that if you want to. Anyway, where I'm getting you to is the date and time. You probably are going to want to use network provided time if you're connected to a network, but we're not connected to the network yet, so we're not going to have that possibility. Uh, once you are, you can have the automatic uh, time zone set, which I found doesn't really work well. So you might need to come back into this one and set up the time zone separately. And of course, you can choose 24 hour format and your date format depending on what country you're coming from. Okay, that's probably enough for this little segment, and we'll be right back with uh, the next steps.